Sup everybody, it has been a wild couple of weeks. I actually had a really good morning, I went and worked out, I went and skated for a little, and then me and Stickbug decided to raid my neighbor's front yard for some coconuts, because coconut water is pretty good. So we got a tip from our neighbor that someone had cut all their coconut palms. So Stickbug's car is now full of coconuts, and we got coconuts for the next month, we're stoked. Oh. Sorry for the lack of uploads, but I promise you guys are gonna be super excited to see what we've been working on. Haven't been uploading as much, but I've been filming literally every single day, trying to make some awesome vlogs, trying to create some of the best pranks that have ever been filmed in the history of the internet, and we're coming up with some more 24-hour challenges, so we're in full swing, actually. If you wanna follow my story on Instagram, I'm constantly posting updates, and you probably already kinda heard what happened if you follow me on Instagram. I'm Jack Denny of the Juke Squad, here to keep you entertained through all of quarantine. And what's crazy is I've tried to come up with so many methods to get you guys to like the videos but the one that worked the best is when I said just fucking like it just do it that's it. just do me a solid we get to you get to watch our videos for free that's all I ask so let's dive right in two people have stolen and have been caught stealing from me in the last two weeks so I really want to talk about it because one I know they're watching this and two maybe a lot of you can learn from these idiots mistakes and be awesome humans yourself now first off I'm not trying to dox anyone I don't want to ruin anyone's life at most I want maybe these kids friends to recognize them and to throw them some shade for being idiots and from stealing from me and my friends now I personally cannot stand thieves and I get angry very easily when I find out something was stolen from me because of the principle. So uh, I write scripts for all of my videos, so if I'm ever looking here and looking back, it's because I'm reading off of my script. I like to be very clear and concise and make sure I don't miss anything, and I feel the best way to productively shoot a commentary is to write a script for it. So like, I have an amazing group of friends, a group of friends who would literally do anything for me. We all have each other's back. We all watch out for each other. We all keep each other in check if someone's being a douche or messing up. We basically just hold each other accountable to be good people. I just don't want to feel like I have to worry about my stuff and like because I'm naive and feel that everyone has good in them and I always see the good in everybody sometimes my pure judgment that everyone is nice and accepting is not the case and sometimes people given their experiences and maybe how they were raised don't have the same moral values that my friends and I do which is why we keep our group so tight I will speak the world of all of my friends and honestly I think very highly of myself too I feel that my purpose in this world is to help people and to make everyone around me's life better. That is what makes me feel the best when I'm helping people I feel the most alive and it makes me feel like I have a purpose. Before I go too long into a life rant, let's dive into what actually happened. So the other day I got a call from my buddy Edwin and he explained to me that someone messaged him and said that their friend stole my skimboard from my yard. He sent me the pictures and apparently got the kid's name and Instagram. Edwin messaged the kid directly but the kid blocked Edwin so Edwin tried to reach out on another account was like hey man this shit isn't gonna work I know your name I know who you are I have pictures of you I know what school you go to so then I messaged him and I basically just said this bring my f***ing board back right f***ing now I am tonight I promise I feel so sh I was drunk off my ass Note that this kid is 17. Bring that shit back and don't fucking step foot on my beach ever again. Ever again. I'm sorry, man. I don't give a shit if you're sorry. Give me my fucking board back. I, excuse, excuse my language. I can't stand people who steal. It drives me insane. I've had bad experiences with thieves in the past and it just really rubs me the wrong way. So I let this kid have it, kind of. I mean, understandably, he stole an $800 custom pro model board that I designed myself. I really do love you guys. I was drunk and listened to stupid friends. So he's like, I promise you on my life, you'll have it back tonight. Man, I'm trying to get out of work early, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's okay, I don't hate you. I just do not tolerate thieves. Trust me, I watch all your videos and know I'm an idiot. I know all you wanna do is send good energy and vibes. I'm so sincerely sorry, man. Turns out White Claws can fuck you up. But anyways, you will have your board back tonight, man. So he brought the board back, and then he mentions me in his story where he takes my board and he throws it over the fence of the compound, and it basically said, don't steal at Savage's board or he'll get mad. It's like, yeah, no shit, it's a $700 board, my dude, that you just threw over a fence, but thanks. You have no class, dude. Shape the fuck up. Your parents can't pay for your stuff forever. I didn't mean it to be disrespectful at all. Exactly. You need to be more aware of what you do. I'm all about living life and having fun, but when it comes to other people's sh you can't be disrespectful. If it's yours and you bought it and you own it, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Now, I'm very respectful of other people's property, and I try to show 10 times more respect to other people's stuff than my own. And apparently, it didn't cross his mind that throwing it over the fence onto the ground was not very respectful. So to you, the first thief that I've caught in the last two weeks, 
shape the f up. Don't do that shit anymore and respect people's stuff. So I kind of reamed the kid out. I told him he sucked. I told him never to come to my beach or island again. I can say that because I was literally born right here. All, all others are welcome except for thieves. Actually, if you're a fan, don't come to my house. Go to Clearwater, please. And thank you. I appreciate it. Now the big one. A kid stole my brand new Canon XC10. I literally just bought it and have only filmed one thing on it. But it's very worth noting and it's very beautiful. So, enjoy the first and only thing I filmed on this camera before it got stolen. I'm obsessed with weather, I always have been, I always will be, and I honestly would love to make a video showing you guys all the time lapses and all the lightnings and all the cool storms that I've filmed. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below. Mothers. <laughs> I love mothers. So we had a little shindig for the Nelk Boys at one of our compounds the other day. It was a lot of fun. We practiced social distancing, kind of, and we, we also practiced herd immunity, I think. I don't know. And I guess some kid left his keys, came back, and saw the opportunity to steal my very, very expensive camera that I only used once. Yes, I should have brought it home with me, but that is the compound. It's like my second home now, and it's truly a safe place where we can be kids again, and we can have fun and do whatever we want. So not only was he invited, he came into our safe space and stole from us. Now, again, me and my friends, some of the most genuine, nicest, helpful people you will ever meet. That is who we are. I'm not trying to sound like a dick or cocky or anything. I just think it's really cool that I can so wholeheartedly say that about my group of friends. They are the best of us. They truly bring a lot of light to this world and to my life especially. And I don't know where I would be without my support team. But you all know who you are. I love you guys so much to death. Thank you for helping me and for helping us make this dream a reality because I didn't do it alone. With that being said, let's get to the messages that that kid sent me. So, again, I don't like people who steal. I really, like, it's probably my biggest pet peeve in life. People taking stuff that they didn't earn because I worked so f***ing hard for everything that I have. I said, you're f***ed. You best never come around my area again, you f***ing clown. It can be that way. I just wanted to let you know that I'm sorry about the camera. Only went back to because I left my keys there. When we turned it on in the car with he, it had no SD card. I later told he that I didn't want it, and it became a plan of how to get the camera back without putting me out. So basically the thief is telling me that his friend who got my camera back was actually there with him and helped him take the camera. I really don't know. I really don't care. The point of this video is not to call anyone out. It's not to ruin anyone's life. I have had an opinion on people who steal for a very long time. And if I can change some of your perspectives out there or maybe change some of these dumbasses perspectives and keep them from stealing, like hell yeah. But it's just, I don't know whether to press charges or not, because not only did he f***ing steal my $2,000 camera, he broke into the warehouse, breaking and entering, and a felony because it's more than a thousand bucks. So please let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do about this, because I'm kind of torn. If you look at messages, pretty simple, I invited you guys over, you stole from me f***ing week, some real scumbag sh agreed, that was a f***ed up move. And then I just, you know, I, I just kind of told him how it was. Like, we're very welcoming, very open people. Honestly, the last ones you want to fuck around with and steal something from. Everyone around here has our back. You f***ed it up for yourself this time, bud. Now you're going to have to pay for it. I don't tolerate a thief. Wake the f*** up and work for the stuff you want. Don't be a f***ing scumbag and steal my camera that I worked my f***ing ass off for. No respect. Karma is real, mother Life will not be fun for you if you keep walking all over people. By the way, if I'm being completely honest, I didn't steal it knowing it was yours. I'm born and raised in Tampa. I've spent years. I used to skimboard and I've seen you guys on YouTube and like this. The moment I saw your lost camera post, I literally could not look at the camera. I don't need to explain my life to you because you wouldn't care, but I wake up early in the morning and bust my ass as well. I have a lot of people that have my back as well and the last thing anyone needs. You got your camera? Wish I left it to begin with. Don't steal, dumbass, is what I said. He said, yeah. So then I say, I know who I am at the end of the day, and my word is my f***ing bond. I'm not a thief. I help everyone I can. I'm the first person to lend a hand, and it's gotten me far in life. Anyone I've ever known to steal and be dishonest always moves backwards in life. Change your f***ing tone and become a decent human being before you end up with your ass beat or in jail. My friends want to call your school and your frat and everyone you're associated with, and do they have a reason not to? 
Did I feel that man? I hold myself to a similar standard and made a dumb decision. That's why I was hoping you would say some shit and DM me because the shit you've heard from me is not how it went down. Really wasn't worried about anything other than jail. Got a lot going on. I got big plans. I'm glad this conversation is happening because my fucking friends are not the type to talk and shit. If you called those places or things, it'd be pretty fucked. Not gonna lie, but you have the right to. Really have no resentment, anger towards anyone. I gave it back because it was the right thing to do. I don't want to make this a piss contest. I just want to explain things to you as personally and as honest as possible. And I said, I have no resentment or anger towards anyone, but I'm also not going to let someone steal from me and get away with it. Whack shit. And honestly, you just lost your invite for life to all of our future events, so that's on you. Now that you probably give a shit, but my crew are some of the nicest, most genuine people on the planet and you just stole from us thank you for apologizing don't ever steal again i couldn't sleep at night if it were me but i guess that's the difference between you and i regardless of who i took it from if i didn't earn it i don't want it if you know this thief let her know that she needs to turn herself into the local authorities so we can properly have her charged with theft i would also like to add that there is a very 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 low chance that this is the first time that this kid has stolen from someone so if you know him and if you know people who have had shit stolen he could definitely be a suspect sorry dude don't really care you stole from me which means you've definitely stolen from other people and uh don't get mad at me because you made a shitty decision you know if you steal from one person you are automatically a thief in my book and if your friends look at you that way well then maybe you shouldn't fucking steal from the biggest youtubers in the state of florida dumbass i also cannot trust someone who flexes in front of a honda with white claws no nope Get out of here. And you know, I was not nice at first, but can you even blame me? I believe one of his friends ratted on him. I actually don't know the full story, but apparently he found out it was mine, got worried, as he should. I honestly thought I had the memory card in the camera, so I was tripping out, but come to realize it wasn't, but the camera is still like brand new. According to the kid who got me the camera back, the kid who took it from him like broke a bottle over his head. He had to fight the kid apparently to get it back. So now the thief said that's not the case. Like I'm hearing two stories from the thief and from the kid who returned the camera to me. I'm gonna take the word of the kid who returned the camera for me and not from the kid who admitted that he stole it from me. I personally overall feel bad for the two people who I discussed in this video that stole from me because if you have the mentality to take something from someone that's not yours, you clearly don't have the best mindset as is. I believe working hard for the stuff you want in life and finally achieving a goal is the most rewarding feeling in the world. I honestly couldn't sleep at night taking or feeling like I had something that I didn't deserve. I worked hard for everything I owned and so is my brother and anyone who doesn't think so and wants to try to take it from us can well and truly f*** off. I don't owe anyone anything, neither does my brother especially. There's a lot of people out there who do have others' best interests at heart. There's also a lot of people and companies out there who feel they can take more than what they earned or more than what they worked for. But before I go too deep, maybe I'll save it for another video where I can tell the whole story. All I can say is there's a lot of reasons I love Florida and given everything that's happened in the last year, there's a thousand more reasons why I don't like LA and why I don't like Hollywood. A lot of fake people, a lot of people that are just trying to line their pockets, a lot of people that act like they have your best interests, but really, really, truly do not at the end of the day. Why do you think me and my brother are both buying property in Florida? LA is a f joke. Hollywood is a f joke. We will never sell out to those terrible people and we'll never stop fighting for what we believe in for what we think is right. We all got into this to have fun and to do what we want and to do what we love and not to be told what to do. I create YouTube videos because I have the freedom to create whatever content I want and to do whatever I want. And as soon as a company tries to take your creative freedom away, it can get ugly. But uh, all I want to say is, you know, be the good in the world. Surround yourself with people who bring out the best in you. And always remember just to be true to yourself and to trust your gut and your instincts. It has to happen in here before it can happen out there. And that has been literally my entire life. So chase your dreams. Thank you guys for listening. I always love sharing my perspectives with you. And I hope that I inspire you guys even half as much as you inspire me. So thank you. Like, subscribe, share. It's a vase. Don't steal things. Peace. Peace, peace. We got some fire content coming soon.